Story for you right now, it's a plan that could literally transform the capital city. A long-term billion dollar project to improve traffic and actually lower parts of I-84 was laid out tonight for Hartford residents. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina was at the big meeting tonight and he is joining us live along the highway in Hartford. Hector. Yeah, I-84, which is the highway you see right behind me, it's elevated pretty high above the city for right now, but that could change. But this project wouldn't get underway for several years, but DOT says with a plan this big, they want to hear from the public as soon as possible. The lines you see on this chart represent a multi-billion dollar plan to alter the city's highways to bring environmental and economic benefits to the capital city. Connecticut DOT's Greater Hartford Mobility Study includes lowering I-84 to street level to eliminate overpasses to make room for more development and green space on top of it. To reconnect neighborhoods, for uh, to put up uh, commercial properties, but residential properties, and, and make this uh, uh, again much more livable. Uh, City. The project would also better connect Hartford to East Hartford by adding two new bridges, one north of the Bulkley Bridge and the other south of the Founders Bridge. Tonight was the first of the project's many public meetings. Rob Lindquist lives downtown. Both he and DOT say this development will increase access to the Connecticut River. Getting all that square footage back of like space. I mean, you look uh, north of downtown by the river, it's just a huge interchange. It'd be great to not have that there. While the project's ideas are on the table, it'll be a long time before we see any construction. DOT says the project wouldn't begin until the 2030s and then take several years to complete. While the project is a ways out, Phil Shattuck has lived in Hartford for nine years and knows the challenges of construction in the capital city. If they were extending the viaduct's life um, just as they were starting this project. You know, it was like two years of jackhammers that I had to listen to, you know, out my front door. How do you best leverage downtown without, like, disrupting it too much in the process? And DOT says this project could have a price tag of more than $10 billion. They plan to secure federal funding as this project moves on. Now, if you couldn't make it out to tonight's public meeting, DOT will have another one a week from tonight, from 6 to 8 o'clock at the Cultural Community Center in East Hartford. In Hartford tonight, Hector Molina, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Some more breaking